you ready to go savvy? Now, in previous sessions, we discussed about the differences between mineral makeup versus traditional makeup. And of course, five reasons why you should choose and use savvy minerals. Today, we are going to debunk some of the common myth or misconception about mineral makeup. What's your myth and misconception? Myth number one, mineral makeup feels heavy on the skin. Now, if you're talking about heavy weight, you'll feel that coming from a traditional makeup instead of a mineral makeup. Why is that so? In fact, mineral makeup offers you full and flawless coverage in lightweight application that makes it a best choice for individuals with sensitive skin. And mineral makeup always feels light. Remember we mentioned, when you apply mineral makeup, it allows your skin to breathe just like your second skin. So no matter how many layers of mineral makeup that you actually apply on your skin, it allows your skin to breathe, it does not clog pores, and always feel light. You need to say you don't feel that cakey or you don't, look, you don't have that cakey look. What is myth number two? Mineral makeup does not provide enough coverage. Now, back to myth number one, we talk about mineral makeup being lightweight. Now, because of its lightweight application, you feel that it does not provide you enough coverage. Now, let me explain this a little. Just imagine if you're going, I mean, if you have planned a Sunday brunch with your girlfriend and you feel that you don't need a heavy makeup, makeup, definitely mineral makeup will be able to achieve the light coverage look that you're looking for. But what if you actually have a planned dinner or planned party that you want, you will want a heavier coverage of makeup? Is mineral makeup able to offer you that full and flawless coverage? The answer is definitely yes. Now, mineral makeup is all about building the coverage thing. You can go as little okay, as you want and build it to the level of as much as you actually need it, like what you have actually planned for your party or what you have actually planned for your wedding dinner. No matter how many layers of mineral makeup that you actually build or you actually need and put on your skin, it does not clog your pores and it allows your skin to breathe and it just feels like second skin. But it definitely offers you the full coverage that you actually need. Myth number three, mineral makeup isn't long lasting. Now, of course, first and foremost, whether you're using traditional makeup or whether you're using mineral makeup, tip number one, you just need to make sure that your skin is prepped and primed with moisturizer and primer to make sure that your makeup actually lasts longer. And second tip, you have to ensure that your skin is well hydrated. But then, does it mean that mineral makeup does not last long? Definitely not. Mineral makeup is basically a makeup that actually lasts long. It actually uses the properties, the natural properties of earth minerals, alright, to actually give you, give your skin, okay, give you and your skin a luminous appearance. Myth number four. Mineral makeup makes lines more visible. Now, in previous session, we spoke about traditional makeup. Now, traditional makeup, actually, like what I mentioned, they are like warm fillers. So, traditional makeup actually fill in the pores, alright, to make the pores less visible. But think about it this way, it's actually clogging the pores as well and opens up the opportunity for skin irritation and congestion. Now, mineral makeup, on the other hand, mineral makeup, it does not fill in the pores. It actually sits on the surface of the skin, alright, but it does not fill in, it doesn't sink in and doesn't fill in the creases of the skin. So it does not make fine lines or wrinkles more visible. So this myth number four is definitely a misconception. Last but not least, mineral makeup is hard to apply. Now, if you are a regular traditional makeup user, when you're going to switch over to mineral makeup, yes, it's a little different when it comes to application method, it's a little different between the application of a traditional makeup and the application of a mineral makeup. But definitely for mineral makeup, it's not tough. Alright? So again, what you can do with mineral makeup? How should you apply mineral makeup? Now, mineral makeup, similarly, you can actually use a brush to apply. You can actually use a buff. Or you can actually use fingers to actually apply for trouble spots. Now, mineral makeup, it comes in powder form and it contains earth minerals. And of course, with the variety of colors that you have, and when you actually apply them, you can actually control, it's easier. Because it is powder form, it's actually easier for you to control the color. 
the intensity and the courage that you need by using the amount, by controlling the amount of powder that you use. And of course, that's not all. Seven minerals by Young Living in particular can be used, all right? It can be applied using the white or dry version. Now, in this wet version, you can actually use misting spray to give you a heavier coverage, a higher intensity color than you need. Of course, a dry version is easy for you when you actually need to touch up your makeup. Now, with this information, I hope that you can make well-informed choices about choosing minerals makeup and definitely savvy minerals for your skin. Alright, if you have, have not experienced and have not tried savvy minerals for yourself, do come and visit Young Living Singapore Experience Center to take a look at the range of savvy minerals product that you can, choose the right shape for yourself and at the same time, feel the difference.